Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your add to cart button color on Shopify. So on your Shopify store, how to change that add to cart button color. And in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to do this without using any code as well, just using the default Shopify store settings and changing the colors, how exactly to go about doing that. So again, that's what I'm going to be showing you in today's video. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged into your Shopify store. Uh, and currently this is again on the Shopify online store 2.0. Uh, the first things first, you're going to come over here to sales channels and click click on online store. Now the default for your theme may look a little bit different currently on this theme, uh, the buttons and whatnot, I have already changed them. But again, I'm going to be showing you how to go through and change them and edit them on your store. Uh, so if we come here to like a product page again, right now, it currently is set to red uh, and the buy it now button is set to blue. I'm going to be changing that, showing you exactly how to do that as well as where that also shows up on your store because the add to cart button and the other colors on your Shopify store, uh, it does edit multiple parts of your store based on the way that Shopify now has the themes set up. So again, we're coming over here to sales channels, online store, and then go to themes. Uh, and then we're going to scroll down a little bit here and we're then going to select the customize button, this black button here. Uh, again, currently I am on the current theme of Dawn on Shopify, uh, depending on which version this, again, this is online store 2.0 themes. This is the most latest and up-to-date themes on Shopify. So we're going to come here and select customize. And then this will bring up the theme editor for your Shopify store. Uh, so once you are in the theme editor, you're going to want to come up here instead of homepage, we're going to select products and select default product. This will just bring us right to a product page. So it's easy to see uh, the add to cart and buy it now button. So as you can see here, we have the add to cart and the buy it now button. Now, once you are here, uh, we're going to come over here to theme settings. And then underneath theme settings, we're going to select colors. And this will bring us to the color schemes that can be applied to sections throughout your online store. Now colors are connected to the buttons under the different schemes. So I'm going to be editing the current scheme that we have on the store as well as, you know, showing you what it looks like with different color schemes as well. Uh, so when you select the colors schemes, then you're going to click on the scheme uh, that either you currently have on your store, or maybe you just want to change it to a default option as well. You do have that is available as well. But if you do want to edit the specific scheme, you click that scheme, then it will bring you into the color scheme editor uh, where you can select the specific colors. Now the outline button is going to be your add to cart button. So this is the outline button. So if you want to change the color, uh, you come here uh, and you can, you know, select the pinwheel option sort of, and then boom, uh, as you can see, it will refresh and you will see that the color is changing here. Uh, maybe if it's a little bit easier, if we do like a purple or something. So as you can see, the outline button is the default for the add to cart button. And as you can see, now it is purple uh, on that bright, like magenta -y type color. If you want to change the buy it now button, uh, you select this solid button background. So the solid button background, we already changed the outline button solid button background and then we can change this to i don't know teal or something like that right so now the buy it now button is now teal maybe a little bit brighter um, and now you can see we have the purple and the teal uh, so that is how you change the button background color you can type in a specific color code if you want or you can just you know select through the wheel option here and you know select the um, how bright you want it to be as well. Now, additionally on the button labeling. So if you have the solid button label, uh, if we change this, you know, to red, that will then you probably can't really see that there. Maybe this bright red that will then change the text of the by uh, now button on the solid button label. So if you change the, this will change the font color specifically on the button. So, I typically like to keep this, you know, a nice contrasting color, maybe black, you know, maybe white, um, just so it's easier to read. Um, but, uh, you know, option is up to you if you want to go something crazy with red and have like red text and, um, you know, a teal background, 
that option is up for you, but you do have two color options here uh, that you can select when changing the actual uh, color text on the button there as well. Now, one thing to keep in mind here when you're editing these color schemes is it does not just affect the add to cart button and the buy it now button. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the store. We're gonna go ahead and click save here. Uh, so you can see that and then we go, go ahead and refresh a product page. As you can see, we now have the add to cart button and the buy it now button. But you notice the shipping text is now changed to the same as the outline button. So this the, the way that they have the scheme set up is to try and keep some consistency across your store in terms of your branding, your theming, and your colors. So it's important when you're selecting these colors uh, that you do know that it will show up in other parts of your store. So you also have the share text now. Um, you know, there's a few other spots in your store that it will automatically populate. If we go back to the home page, uh, as you can see now, this button as well. So anything that you edit on the you know page editor within Shopify, especially on your home page specifically, when you're building out like your home page sort of landing page in a way, um, it will also change you know other parts of that. Now currently, I don't have really too many other buttons on this home page. So as you can see, it really just changed the shop all button. Uh, but that is another button on the store. If you had other content, uh, say for example, if we maybe just go to home page and I go ahead and add something here um, like an add add section you'll see so you can see here image with text now that button also has the solid button uh, image banner you see the buttons are labeled there uh, slideshow uh, multi column so anywhere where there are buttons um, you know, have multi row as well it will give you the outline button option as well as the solid button option so you know, in addition to add to cart, you are also changing a lot of other buttons uh, within your store. So it is important to keep that in mind uh, when you're changing your add to cart button color uh, and where else it does appear on your Shopify store. Now there is actually one way you can get around the automatic button changing across other parts of your website. And that is to actually utilize the different types of color schemes. Now I did briefly briefly touch on that there are other schemes available and so this is the way that you can make it so that just the button color is that one color on your actual product pages uh, so currently on the product pages we have everything set to scheme one now if you want to switch again the button colors from your add to cart section compared to other parts of your website you're going to do that through the color schemes sections here uh, on your theme settings again under the theme settings and then under colors and then under schemes this is where you can actually change it so that it doesn't just then re get applied to other parts of your store like i had showed you uh, on the home page, for example. So if you do want to have, you know, a, an add to cart button, say be purple here, but then you don't want that purple to then show up across every other button, like on your home page, the way that you go about doing that is on each of the different sections where a button does appear again, whether it be that buy now button or the, you know, the filled in button or the outline button. Those are the two types of buttons that you have. Um, for the add to cart and buy it now, what you're going to do is select that section uh, and then you're going to go ahead and scroll down. So when you select the section here, we have the image banner selected. You're gonna scroll down and you're going to go to color scheme. And then this is where you can change it to a different scheme. And then as you can see, your add to cart button color is now different because the button is essentially changed for the color scheme for that section. So maybe you want it to be under that kind of scheme. You know, you can go in and change it uh, so that it does look different depending on, again, the scheme. So for here, as you can see, these three are essentially the same, but that one is black versus white. Uh, so you can see that is different there. Uh, you can go in and change these as well. If you are interested in doing that, you just go to theme settings, colors and schemes, and then you can even add different ones too. Uh, if you do want, you know, different button colors and different button options and styling, uh, across other parts of your website, again, beyond just the product page. And even on the product page, you can also do this as well, um, you know, for certain types of products, say for example, maybe you set certain products under the default product 
and maybe you have other products under a different page template depending on you know the page templates that you want to go with i get that does get a little bit more complicated uh, but you can do that as well if you want like different add a cart button colors and buy it now colors on different products um, but if you want to change it here you can also change the overall scheme by clicking the product information and then it will give you the color scheme section too uh, so you can change that here and then as you can see uh, when you select scheme two, now you can see the add to cart button and the buy it now buttons are those uh, alternative color scheme options like scheme two. If you go with scheme three, it's going to change uh, the overall backdrop. So you also have that choice there too. So you can really, you know, change this on a variety of different parts of your store so that you're not necessarily stuck to the same button colors across your entire store just by going to the default theme settings. You can really, you know, customize your Shopify store uh, to set the schemes separately um, for each different part of your store. So that's, you know, one other way as well that you can get around it, just changing uh, the scheme so that you don't necessarily just have that same color repeating everywhere if you don't necessarily want, you know, the add to cart button or the buy it now button color taking over all other button sections on your Shopify store. Again, you just go into the sections, you click on the section that you're trying to edit, and then you go in and you can change the scheme, uh, the color scheme, or if you even wanna edit that specific scheme, right then and there you can go in and boom, you have the colors available so you can change the solid button background as well as the outline button and the solid button label uh, on other parts of your store as well. So if we go back to the homepage, uh, we, as you can see, we still have that secondary scheme there. So then you can change the buttons uh, under that scheme as well. Under the color scheme, you can go in and edit and you can change the colors there. Again, that is separate from the product page, which is where your add to cart button is, as well as your buy now button. So it is a separate way to go in and sort of get around that change as well. Uh, so that's what it looks like to change your button color uh, on your Shopify store. You go into the scheme that you have selected on your store uh, and you go in and do that. And again, you don't need to use any code for this as well. Uh, so again, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful on how to edit your button colors uh, on your Shopify store and specifically again that the add to cart button and the buy it now button as well uh, are both you know editable and changeable without using any code so again guys if you don't already have a Shopify store you can go ahead and check out that first link down below in the video description that's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify we'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial again that's that first link down below in the video description and again if you found this tutorial helpful then be sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe button as well and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload new video but anyway guys that was all for today's video and i will see you in the next one peace out